Hey everybody and welcome to Smooth Operators Call Center Chaos as always. And today we resume operations as Eastbrook Corporation. And it's day 18 officially. And um, I don't know, let's see what kind of exciting times we're going to have ahead of us here. As we learn the beauty of treating our employees like crap. Not an easy thing to do, especially when we have broken computers here. Well, that kind of helps, but yeah, since we last left off, we actually have a, a new operation, a uh, new building, I guess. Yeah, that's the technical term for it. So after a couple achievements obtained in the last episode, which did get us quite a bit of money, we're still hurting for money, though. We have like three three janitors here who can't work fast enough here. You know, what do I pay you for, huh? 100% trash, that place always. It's IT for God's sakes, man. Okay, so well, you guys got a lot of work ahead of you. Would've been ironic if this was the janitor's quarters, but... No, nah, this is right here. 11% trash, that's fine. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit, because this is getting a little, you know, something. And of course, these people just can't work fast enough to get this room cleaned. I mean, 100% trash buildup, that's a lot. There we go, triple team that stuff, man. Triple team that shit. And come on, you got, you still got a little bit there. There we go, don't be slacking. That's how you get fired. Okay, so damn it, how will I ever get out of this labyrinth? Oh yeah, the ill-fated Floyd who got fired on the first day. And then I got penalized by the union because, well, they don't they look down upon that somehow. I mean, how was I supposed to know I was gonna get buyer's remorse once I hired him? Right? I'm only human. So I have a feeling these guys, you know, they, they probably hang out. Well, not after work, but... You know, they hang out and talk. He's just a loner there. They're like, eh, who gives a shit about that guy? That's a jerk. Alright, here's the ever-happy uh, IT staff, right? Wait, no, you're the handyman. Alright, so you're, you're, you're kind of cool. What are your thoughts on life? And already 2%, wow. If a client's workload is suffering, you can have you can move workers from another client to get more manpower. I only have one client, so I'm just saying. Oh, sure is clean after work. Yeah, okay. You really have nothing to talk about, do you? Oh, he's trying to answer the phone. I'm just thinking or picturing him just punching the table as hard as he can. So that's the kind of feeling I would get from this, like, oh, son of a bitch, another call? No. Oh. I need a second line. I hate customers. Look, if you start asking for the second line, you know what, that's... It's asking too much already, so shut up. What are your thoughts on life? Don't... Wow, sure is clean. You need a second line. Well, you know what that entails. Someone needs to get fired for that to happen. So just as long as you know the consequences here. What is this place again? This is the office building block. Project manager, probably not getting us anything. Okay, next next day then we'll unlock something. Cool. What do you want? You want a second line? I can't read this. You're a pretty sour person just for, you know, you got a cheerleader in this section and yet you're complaining. God, cry me a river. Need a second line, I need all this fancy stuff. Yeah, no you don't. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> they love waiting for that elevator. But seriously though, these people have to ch chill out a little bit. Special baldy here. Just chill out, man. 
Stop stressing about this stuff. I mean, look at the dude. He's he's happy all the time. I mean, sure, he's got a drinking problem, but, you know, we kind of overlooked that. Line two. What? Are you complaining about that again? You need to take a... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Shut up. The dude is always happy. You can't bring that guy down. Do you know what he's going to do? He's going to get up. Gonna grab himself a glass, some creamer, some vodka, and you know what? Gonna have a white, uh, white Russian from that. Doesn't, I guess it does have hope that this guy's yelling at him all the time. Oh, he's getting really mad. He's gonna start going postal on someone. Yeah, you wanna like cheer him up a little bit? He's getting really close to like bringing a. Bringing something to work, which uh, isn't really, you know, looked highly upon in this place. Uh, this, is, this is getting pretty crazy here, I must admit. I don't know where the rest of my staff is, I mean, really. They think they can just go ahead and eat. I mean, I'm sorry, you can't do that. Uh, so we really have to wait until tomorrow until we can get like some kind of a uh, upgrade here so let's uh fast forward oh well, you're, you're sad oh my god shut up it's an elevator it does what it does so someone's gonna start going like crazy around here i'm pretty sure well he was pretty happy until that happened i guess Oh, he's going to get really mad. You going home or something? What are you doing, buddy? I don't think we're done with this conversation that we were having. So who cheers you up when you need cheering up? I mean, God. Good job. What's your name? Elias, good job, Elias. You just broke the computer. Now who's gonna fix that? No one, because they're all home for the day. You ever thought about that, you greedy son of a... Alright, so let's see here. This guy is going to really go postal on us. <laughs> Cortez is not happy. He's the only back office agent. He's not doing much from the looks of things here, so... I mean, really, you know... Here, why don't you, uh, stop bitching for once, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm just a caring guy. Who would have thought, right? Who would have thought I'm a caring person? <laughs> it's a lie. Well, I swear, these people are such picky people. Picky, picky. And they didn't even do much work, either. Back office crew is just doing horrible. Barely touched the workload. It's like, uh, you know, I'll think about working today. Even these guys are like, oh my god, now I just got penalized for that. Yeah, that's going out of someone's, like, coming out of someone's pay, that's for sure. These janitors, they know how to clean. Look at that. They're just wiping it out. No one's business. You can't get these, uh, you can't knock these guys off their game. And, well, you just gave up? Okay. It's like, oh, it was, it's too much garbage, you know? Just take a break here. Yeah, have fun just walking around. You, I'm, I'm watching you. Now get to work on this bottom floor. Come on. You gotta triple team this. Never mind, he's got other plans. It's like this guy. You guys are slackers. Oh, you guys. You guys. Alright, so we should have a secret at this point or something unlocked. If you ignore your vacation request, your employees are going to be really unhappy. Cry me a river. That's all I can say. Do you think I've ever cared? Nope. Your accounting manager has struck a deal with a new client. These base workloads are in now start... Oh, they're in now. Start working. Sweet. 
All right, so let's uh, let's evaluate some things here. Let's uh, hell, I can't even handle one workload for these guys. So what makes me think? What what makes me think I'm gonna do any better now? I guess we can wing it a little bit, right? So IB IB. Yeah, I think it's gonna be that kind of situation here. So move you. Yep, gonna change uh, some workstations here, and we're gonna have some fun. A lot of fun in here. Yeah, we are. And you guys are going to be doing a different workload, so have fun with that, buddy. Books driving school. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I swear you complain, then there's going to be a lot of trouble. I just say it as a friend. There's going to be a lot of trouble. So back office, agent. Man, you guys are going to be busy. And I guess, uh, let's see here. So we, uh, operation staff, a line two dude. All right, so someone we don't like around here, um, Darwin. You know what, Darwin, I think you should be fine. Aaron, Aaron, um, you just seem like you're gonna be a pain in the butt no matter what, what I do with you, so there you go. You found a new workstation, good job, congratulations. And congratulations. Okay, there we go. And I got 750 bucks, yes. Sweet. I definitely deserve it too, so. Wow, this guy's just one arming this whole operation. Nah. Bravo, buddy. Bravo. What is this? What is your problem? Next seal is in 18 days. Are you serious? Sure, it's dirty in here. I'm too tired to work. Who just went home sick? Curtis, I lost my head pro Okay, okay. Yeah, it better be legit, buddy, you know? <laughs> it better be legit. You don't wanna know what happens when uh, I find out you lied. So yeah, I'm not even sure, like, can I figure out what my workloads are like, kind of? Nah, probably can't. So these guys have to... What? There is a Line 2 guy here. Transfer to Line 2, yeah, because you don't want to do the work, huh? Why? I, I, okay, this guy is already unhappy enough as it is. You don't belong there. Well, you shouldn't have complained so much. Because now you wanted a Line 2 guy, well, he just took your spot, so... It's called being fair, so. Oh, he, he goes downstairs and really just, well, he just, what are you doing? You go all the way downstairs just to have asshole people? I love that. I thought you were just restricted towards your one floor there, but that changes things a bit. Oh, crap. What, who went home sick? Oh, poor baby. Parrot fever and need to stay home today. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll, we'll see about that. Useless people. Alright, so... God, how can I salvage this situation? How does one salvage this situation? People leaving left and right here. It's like, God... Oh, what's wrong, Emil? Uh, Emil? Emil? You need a second line. Don't scream at me. Very talkative. Great, a manager. <laughs> this guy's gonna shoot someone up. Pretty sure of it. Yeah, go home. Yeah, good, good, good riddance, man. Why don't you leave someone who actually does their work to do something? Isn't that why, uh, Juan? 
Yeah, it is right. Alright, IT is not doing their job here. You know, we still have, we still have bro computers broken. I mean, this kind of reminds me of when I just worked at, uh, worked as a person who uh, kind of troubleshot Apple computers, and my god, those things freaking blew up faster than these computers did. Or maybe on par, I would say. There are a lot of issues, though, with them. Like, what is this? I don't see a screen anymore. Well, uh, yeah, exactly. It's just, the it, whole monitor blew up. Good job. You broke it. Pay me my money. Whatever that means, but anyways, uh... Okay, so this room has to be cleaned, like, drastically. And we're getting... Wow, well, we're gonna be bankrupt before this day is done. I can guarantee you that. But I think in the next episode, since this is about the 15 minute shot mark, I don't want to go any further than that. But yeah, and uh, well, God, in the next episode, we'll think, we think this whole uh, second client business here. See if that's so such a wise idea. So yeah, that's something we'll consider in the next episode and hopefully buy you some uh, new office space. So thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you next time.